Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, with all the questions that I have today and a lot of them are similar I decided to do a little uh, questions and answer because there's a lot of mix-up and Microsoft of course doesn't really help in making us um, you know understand everything they uh, often mix up even more actually there's a interesting comment today on the channel from someone saying how come you can explain much better what Microsoft does and 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 why this is like this than than Microsoft? I mean, it's it's obvious that Microsoft cannot communicate. Uh, that is for sure. Okay, we'll start with one question that I had from a few viewers, which is sideloading of apps and what it means. So Android. And I showed you, um, or I made a video talking about uh, the fact that in the beta channel, there is a um, test run of the uh, Amazon store for Android, and it installs the Windows subsystem for Android. <clears throat> and Android is probably what is the closest to Windows in terms of operating system openness. So when you're on an iPhone or an iPad, you have to install apps from the store. You have no other choice. It's a closed system. And so because of that, um, of course, it offers technically more security, but you just can't do what you want. On Android, being a little more like Windows, you do what you want. So you don't have to necessarily install stuff from a store to get apps. So in Windows, you have the choice of going to the Microsoft Store and downloading apps from the store, but you also have the choice to download apps from the internet and click the install and it installs. So it's two ways of uh, installing. Now in Windows, we don't call it side loading because it's the way the system was always uh, done and we just install apps in two different ways. Android tries to be like iOS in some way. It has a switch, which usually is always turned on, and that switch prevents you from installing Android apps from anywhere else than from the Google Play Store or whatever store gives you apps, like on an Amazon tablet, for example. It's you know the, the Amazon Store app. So uh, basically, that resembles iOS. But where it doesn't and resembles Windows is that that switch can be switched or can be turned off, which means now you have the ability, if you have the package or the um, software package, to click on it a little bit like you would do clicking on an install of a program in Windows that you downloaded and it will actually install itself in your Android system. So in the case of the Windows subsystem for Android, it will give you the ability to have apps that you don't have in the Amazon store. And so that's what we call side loading because it's not technically something that you should do, but it's obviously something that a lot of people do. For example, on my Amazon 10-inch um, Fire tablet, I have actually sideloaded the Google Play Store following some instructions so I can get the Google Play Store apps as well as the ones that are in the Amazon Store. So I'm sideloading in a different manner, in a different way. And of course, for that, I had to go into settings and say, yeah, yeah, just you know, let me install whatever I want. And so that's what sideloading is all about. So for a lot of people that will run Android apps, this is exciting because they know that they will be able to install their favorite app from Android in Windows using that uh, Windows subsystem for Android sideload capability. Uh, question, <coughs> sorry, question uh, number two, 21H2. Lots of mix up with 21H2. People have too much focus on it being a specific version of Windows. So here goes. 
when you install a feature update, whether it's Windows 11 or Windows 10, there's something called Windows. Uh, there's a, a version number, and that version of the feature update will tell you either it's been installed in the first half of a year or the second half of a year. Now, the mix-up here is that people see 21H2 in Windows 11, and they say, well, I have 21H2. No, you got Windows 11 21H2. That's it. You don't have Windows 10 21H2. Now, that's for people with Windows 11. There are some of you in Windows 10 that have their computers on release preview. Because 21H2 for Windows 10 is not at all released. And if you have it, it's because your computer is on one insider ring, which is release preview. So that means that if you go to your settings and windows and go into the windows update and go into the windows insider program setting, you see yourself in release preview. Release preview is where things usually get tested before they are officially released. So any of you that have uh, 21 H2 and have it for a few weeks now, it's because your computer is in release preview of the Insider program. So you've got it before everybody else because you're testing it. So that's why you've got 21H2 for Windows 10. Some of you that have gone to the Insider rings for Windows 11 have been pushed down to that ring release preview because you had unsupported hardware. So when you got pushed back down to Windows 10, what happened is you were kept in what was release preview of Windows 10. You are still an insider, but in the testing phase for what's next with Windows 10. So that's why some of you had the 21H2 before everybody else. As for people that are not insiders at all, you will get 21H2 in November, since we now know it's called the November 2021 update. So that's the thing. And last but not least, because a lot of people are a little mixed up about uh, the different rings, I will restate what I said and what I usually say. Um, so a couple of people said, well, why are why going to dev if you told us to stay in beta and so on? The only reason I um, I say to most insiders to stay in beta is because the beta testing you can get out of at some point. But dev is usually where new features are. So I, I see a lot of comments. A lot of people are a little mad at Microsoft right now. Uh, because they stayed on dev in order to get the new features. Because beta does not get the latest features in general. In this case, it's very unusual. Because beta got the latest um, you know, Android system. Which usually would have been something that we expected in dev. So um, just remember, there are three rings in Windows Insiders. Dev but you can't get out of dev except reinstalling Windows from scratch. That usually tests out future stuff. Now, in this case, was not totally true because beta got it first. Then you've got beta. That one is safer, and you can get out of it when it reaches a certain uh, version of Windows. And then there's release preview, which is the safest of all, and that one also you can get out and enable the, uh, the the fact that you can stay wherever you are uh, once you know the official version is released. So these are all the questions I've got answered in uh, one video. Hope that uh, people understand a little more the different things. And don't forget, 21H2 doesn't mean a version of Windows. It simply means when it was released and the year, 21H2 being the second half 
it's the case for Windows 11. It will be the case for Windows 10. Next feature update. That's why both of them are called 21H2. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.